So, Brenda, where are you going with the balloon? I'm going to the carnival. I mean, the carnival. <laughs> Voluntarily, like. Voluntarily, you know, yes. This is what we do. <laughs> Second stop in Arizona is Escape Room Mesa. So we're still in the Mesa location um, and uh, they actually have a lot of rooms because they're one of the OGs of the Arizona look, um, area for escape rooms. Right outside is plenty of free parking uh, as you can see and it uh, seems like they have their own uh, company trucks as well. Seems like to be the thing here. We're going to be uh, doing two. I feel like they're both probably like a little bit of a uh, uh, eerie or scary room? We don't know. We're gonna have to check it out. So if you guys uh, want to like and subscribe to our channel, this is where you're gonna see exclusive contents like this. Now we bring you in. What's good everybody, it's Brandon from Escape the Rumors and we are at a second stop today in Arizona and we're at Escape Rooms Mesa and we're playing two games here, Carnival and Jekyll and Hyde. Very excited to see what that's about but before we do so, I'm going to speak with Danielle, the owner. How are you? Great, how are you doing today? I'm great, thank you so much for having us. We're really excited to uh, be here and also check out the two games but I know it's only two games out of how many games? So here at location we have six rooms. We think we're the largest in the world, but of course it's really hard to check that. It's pretty, you're probably up there, I don't know about the largest, but right. 16 games. And it's a full house, it's like three four yes, floors. Yes, it's a, a 1922 four-story historical mansion that we've got them all in. Wow. Maybe you, this could be a hotel we just check in and stay here. Yeah, <laughs> we actually get those calls all the time. So. Oh, like, do you have rooms <laughs> yeah, available have rooms to available? sleep? We're like, sure we do. <laughs> <laughs> so out of the uh, 16 games, which is your most popular? Which is the one that customers are booking more frequently? So honestly, it's our scary rooms that book the most. Okay. We have three, three and a half. We call Jekyll and Hyde a little scary, but not super scary. Okay. Um, so even during Christmas time, they're really still booking up the most. So ah. people see Oh. Scary a lot. Yeah, who doesn't want to be fully immersed? Exactly, <laughs> not me. I like our games like Candyland and <laughs> Mad Hatter's Tea, personally. Uh, Are I there like live actors games. in the scary games? Uh, no, there's not. Not at this okay. situation. All right. And then, um, I know you have 16 games. That's already a lot. Is yeah. there anything in the near future for Escape Rooms Mesa? More rooms, swapping rooms out? Yes. Anything else? Yes. So we're in the middle of building two right now. We have Colonized and Petrified. So Petrified is going to be really cool because it's uh, two stories underground and it's Ooh. like a multi-room room. It's going to be 90 minutes. Okay. Of course, almost pure magic in there because not a lot of places have put locks on uh, crypts and things like that. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to do that. Um, we also are rebranding uh, nationally to United Escapes of America and we're opening multiple locations across the country. Um, our next one is in North Carolina. Wow. We already have Louisiana, Arizona, so we're we're starting to move. So how many do you have right now across right the country? Right now, I personally have seven, five, six locations plus two satellites and some renaissance festivals. Wow. We also have axe throwing down the street. so. Uh, lots of stuff going on for us. We also have our international um, take-home games, the Cryptic Keys. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask going you about here. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the take-home games, is that designed by you guys? Yeah, or? Um, myself and my manager, Mickey. Oh, are two wow. Members. And they can find that online? And... Yep, they sure can. Uh, it's here on our website or at crypticcase.com. Okay. Wow. Um, and then, well, I mean, if you if you start the brands out of the U.S., you're gonna have to change your name again. So I know, worldwide, right? worldwide. Worldwide. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just stay in the U.S. for now. But we are shipping internationally. So. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then, do you get a chance to get into the game room? Uh, sorry. 
Yes, I love playing escape rooms. Uh, that's actually what got me into it. I played three and I was like, this is what I want to do with my this, life. Yeah, right? this is what I'm vested this in. Is, this is it. So I, I quit my corporate job and I started doing escape rooms. Um, but I've played, I don't know, not as many as you maybe, but two or three hundred. Okay, that's so a lot. Dude. I love escape rooms. Yeah, I try to keep up with industry and things like that. So I go and tour a lot as well. Okay. Um, my favorite here in town is Nemesis Club. Shout out, to next. Yep. shout out to oh, yep. Nemesis. Shout out to Nemesis. Yes, um, I talked to him. They are amazing people. Uh, he used to work at Disney, I think. Mm -hmm. And so he has all that animatrate, uh, animatronics and all that great stuff going on. He spends so much getting his rooms built. And they show. Like, Which It's game? beautiful. I've played both. I've played robots and I've played this foot. Okay. Um, Monster Magyan. Um, mm -hmm. And they're both phenomenal rooms. Um, okay. And then, of course, you got to go to Soda. At the front, he does milkshakes that are bigger than your face. Like they are so amazing. You guys are so, offering so much of yes, stuff we can't have. Yes, oh no. <laughs> I have a little cafe, but it's nothing compared to his soda shop. So Oh um, yeah, actually they, they have a cafe. You wanna tell us about that? Like what oh, do you have to offer? Just a simple cafe, just snacks and drinks, uh, coffees in the winter, you know, hot chocolate. So just simple stuff, ice cream in the summer. Um, but it's just nice to have it because there's since we're a standalone building, there's really nothing they can walk to, like strip malls would have. Right, right. So we kind of offer that. Okay. Um, when you're in the uh, control room and you're game mastering and you see players in the room, what is like, have you ever seen any like crazy things happen in there? Like share a story. <laughs> Anything that you've seen a player we do. We see so many crazy things. Um, we actually get wedding proposals a lot. Um, you know, gender reveals, yeah. baby reveals. Uh, we change the puzzles for them to do that, which is pretty oh, nice. Oh, okay. Um, but one time when he was proposing, um, the last clue, of course, the sister was standing right in the way and he literally body checked her out of the way and she fell while he was getting on his knees. <sighs> Nobody even watched the sister fall. They were all like intently watching him. Like forget about her, yeah, he, they this is the moment. Like, <laughs> they were like, oh, who is that? Like, I don't care that she fell. Like he was proposing and she, he like body checked her out of the way. Which oh my funny. goodness. Which room was this in? Well, I was in our old disco room. Okay. Yeah. 100% success rate on the proposal? Uh, yeah. Well, yes. Okay. We had some go south, which is not, not fun because they're locked in there, but yeah, in general, it's, like, it's, it's pretty awkward much for the rest of the six Ninety-five percent of the time, I say yes. <laughs> and um, that brings me to my la my other question: Is uh, are most of your games sixty minutes and ninety minutes? I heard. Yes. So uh, fifteen of the sixteen are ninety minutes, right? Now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Or fourteen of this, or two, two. Sorry, my math is. <laughs> it's early. Please forgive me. Um, two of our rooms are ninety minutes, and then the rest are sixty. Okay. And with the two rooms that are on the way, does that bring you to a total of 18 or total is it swapping? 16. Mm -hmm. Oh, to that'll be 16. Yeah. But we have plenty of room for more, but unfortunately and fortunately, we're building more locations instead of more rooms. Right. Because we're getting to that point where we're on competition. I mean, we have amazing customers who come back because we have a wristband for every room and they mm -hmm. like literally line their arms uh, with yeah. them. <laughs> um, but we're getting to the point where we're kind of just expanding and so we can offer our stuff other places. Okay. Yeah. And the last thing we want to know is something about you that most people don't know, like a talent, a hobby, something you like to do outside of escape rooms. Well, I have two amazing kids. Okay. Um, I have uh, 20 reptiles. So I love leopard geckos. Reptiles. And, yes. Okay. So I have um, all my little uh, padded critters upstairs. They have um, They're not in the escape rooms, right? No, okay. not just, yet. Just want to make sure. Someday I'll figure yet. out how to incorporate it. But right now, they're, they're just my Escape display. the reptiles just and they're the real. Reptiles. Yeah. I do have a zoo room. I could put some in there, but... Okay. Uh, yeah, and only there. lizards? Oh, geckos, you said? Only yeah, geckos. geckos uh, I have a your master, it's pretty dragon. Some of those fun things. Okay. But that's a recent hobby, so... Oh, nice. So it used to be escape rooms before I had my own. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, Danielle, thank you so much oh, for having you. us. You guys, make sure you like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Make sure you click that like button below and uh, subscribe if you want more uh, footage of the, the places that we're visiting, sneak peeks inside the room, and also check out our website, escapetherooms.com, so you'll know what we thought of Carnival and Jekyll and Hyde, because we're about to get in there. And with Danielle's permission, I'm going to see if I can get in there and get some footage. We'll see what happens. Peace.
Left for me to move Time is running out, gotta figure something out